essentially Arcadia makes you think of Virgil's eclogues, the ideal pastoral. It's not a pastoral play, but the Arcadia in this play is an English country poem called Sidley Park. And the action of the play flips between two time periods, the early 19th century and what we're showing is the present day at Sidley Park in this English country home. And what we're watching are these two periods essentially trying to understand one another. In the present day, we have scholars who are actively researching what happened in a very short span of time in the early 19th century. And then in the 19th century, what we see are characters anticipating mathematical and scientific discoveries in our time. And that anticipation is happening primarily through the character of Thomasine, brilliantly played by her author, and her tutor, Septimus Hodge. Um, what's very clear is that Sydney Park, in both worlds, is a place of learning, it is a place of family, and it's a place of human relationships. Stoppard has a reputation for being very intellectual. I think this is absolutely the most human of his plays. So that said, we have a number of mathematicians in the play. We have the young Thomasina in the early 19th century, and then there's a mathematician in the present day, his name is Valentine. Um, I do not think that mathematics is associated with insanity. <laughs> Instead, it is associated with mystery and wonder and intellectual curiosity, and also, in a really beautiful, surprising way, with love and with real human affection. Now, that's not to say that there isn't a discussion of insanity. Um, that's not to say that there isn't a character that's reputed to have gone insane. Um, but one of the things we see happen here is, are the difficulties of understanding different worlds. So we see these modern academics trying to understand what happened in the past, and we see how deeply flawed their conclusions are because we're privileged to have seen the earlier world. So while there is a sort of rumor of insanity, as an audience, we see all of the very complicated reasons that might be, and it's not just because he liked math. 